Hi there. If you're a tech savvy person like me, you'll be pleased to know that I have some really useful apps for you today. An app that will be able to show a preview of the files without opening them. An app that can find out and sort out large files in your computer within seconds and more. In this video, I present you the 5 must have apps that you should have on your Windows computer. Let's dig in. We all have a lot of files stored on a computer and sometimes similar content files are saved with different names and in different locations. These are duplicates that take up unnecessary space and clutter our folders. To solve this issue, I have an open source app for you called TubeGuru. This is one of the most well known duplicate file finders for Windows. It can find and remove duplicate files on computers whether it's an audio, image or general document based on contents or file names. Using DupeGuru is easy. All you have to do is add the folder or directory you want to scan. Then you can choose more options and apply filters by size or name to refine your search. After you hit the scan button, DupeGuru will scan your files and show you a list of all the duplicate groups. The scanning process takes time but it will mainly depend upon the number of files and folders that your storage has. Once complete, the original files are marked in blue and the duplicates are below them. You can also filter the scan results by selecting the duplicates only or typing in the format of the file that you want to see. From there, you can open the location of original file and duplicate files. Compare them and if you see it's a duplicate, select the ones in the app and send it to the recycle bin, which is basically the delete. It's that simple. And don't worry, if you delete a file by accident, you can always restore it from the recycle bin or move it to a folder of your choice. This is a great duplicate finder app and is completely free, which is a bonus. Do give it a try today. Are you bored of the simple looking volume center? If you're like me, you probably want to have more control and customization over the default flyouts that show up when you change the volume or brightness or toggle the airplane mode. That's why I recommend you to try Modern Flyouts, an app that makes the flyouts more consistent and attractive. With this app, you can replace the simple looking layouts with a modern and fluent design. For example, you can see a new way to control volume or control video playback and see more information related to the media you're playing. You can also drag and resize the flyouts, change the timer to see them on screen and tweak few other settings that suit your preference. This is a small app which is available for free and is open source which can be found in the Microsoft App Store. Microsoft recently added the Tabs feature in Windows 11. However, it's not powerful and neither customizable. You may wonder what else you can do with it besides opening new folders in the same window. Well, there's just an app for this. QT Tab Bar not only provides you with the ability to open multiple tabs but also offers a lot of customization options. For instance, you can switch to any folder by clicking on the icon from here. Or you can lock your open tabs so that they won't close if you accidentally close the window. Then just like a web browser, you can reopen closed tabs, create groups of tabs like workspace in Chromium browsers where all folders in a group can be opened using a shortcut key. And the best feature I found is the preview tool that shows you the image, text or a video in a small box by hovering the cursor on a file. Currently, Windows doesn't offer this option, so it has been a very useful feature in my everyday life. This only works for the files and not for the folders. There are many more options you can explore with it. You can explore the various settings by right clicking on the plus tab and then selecting the settings option. Overall, I think this is a great software that adds a lot of value to the Windows File Explorer. You can see it installs some kind of hooks into the folder window and changes the behavior of the explorer to suit the needs of the advanced users. This is a free and open source software and I would highly recommend you to give it a try. 
Are you running low on disk space or wanting to do some cleaning of your storage drives? If so, you need to check out Vistree, a software that shows you which files and folders are taking up the most space on your storage drive. Unlike the built-in storage space analyzer or other disk space analyzers, which take a long time to analyze your drives, Vestry is one of the fastest apps in doing this work and being accurate. For instance, you can easily scan and identify large files that you don't need anymore. You can scan any drive or folder on your PC, including network drives and external devices, and see the results in two different views, a tree view and a file view. A tree view shows you the actual directory structure and is useful for seeing the overall distribution of space on your drive. There's a tree map right underneath it, which is a visual representation of the size of each file and folder on your drive. Whereas the file view shows you the individual files that are using the most space on your drive. Both these views can be sorted as per the percentage, size, file type, allocation and attribute. It also offers a number of customization options where you can adjust the settings of the scan results to your preference. You can use this app for free for personal use, but you can support the development and use it commercially by purchasing an enterprise license. 2020 was a turning point in many ways, with one of them being the year that Adobe dropped the support for Flash. If you miss playing the old Flash games that are no longer supported by modern web browsers, you will love Flashpoint Archive, a free and an open source software that lets you enjoy Flash games and animations from the past. This project aims to preserve web content that use Flash, Shockwave, Java and other technologies that are being discontinued by browsers. You can choose to play online or download the games that take very little space on the computer. You'll be amazed by the variety of games available with over 170,000 titles in different genres like puzzle, strategy, action and more. You can easily find these games by browsing the categories, searching by name or filtering by tag. You can also play or download any game you want and if you found something you like, you have the option to add to favorites for easy access. This is a must have app for any web game lover. Don't miss the chance to relive the nostalgia and have fun with the Flashpoint archive. That's all I have today for you. All the links to the apps have been mentioned in the description. If you liked any of the apps, then you should consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be sharing a new list of apps later this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video.